Tops in Science Fiction was a pulp science fiction magazine launched in 1953. The publisher, Love Romances Publishing, created it as a vehicle to reprint stories from Planet Stories. It was unsuccessful and only lasted for two issues. Although it contained no original stories, it did print some original artwork, including some of Kelly Freeze's early work. A British reprint edition appeared in the mid 1950s. Topic: Publication history. The early 1950s saw dramatic changes in the history of US science fiction publishing. At the start of 1949, all but one of the major magazines in the field were in pulp format. By the end of 1955, almost all had either ceased publication or switched to digest format. Despite the rapid decline of the pulp market, several new science fiction magazines were launched in pulp format during these years. Tops in Science Fiction was one of the last of these. The publisher, Love Romances Inc., also published Planet Stories, and Malcolm Rees, Planet's editorial director, decided to try to take advantage of the backfile of stories and artwork from Planet's 14 years of publication. He may have been inspired by the example of Fantastic Story magazine, which was published by Standard Magazines as a vehicle to reprint their extensive backfile of science fiction. If so, he was evidently not aware that by 1953 Fantastic Story was not doing well financially. The first issue was dated spring 1953, and was edited by Jack O'Sullivan. The cover, by Alexander Ladenfrost, was reprinted from a 1942 issue of Planet Stories. The fiction included, Black Friar of the Flame, by Isaac Asimov, and The Million Year Picnic. By Ray Bradbury, the first of his Martian Chronicles stories. Interior art included some of Kelly Free's earliest work. The issue was only modestly successful, and on the advice of his distributor, who told Reese that they were having trouble getting the magazine distributed, Reese decided to switch to the digest format for the second issue. Digests were starting to become more popular than the pulps, which would be almost completely gone from the market within only a couple more years. The second issue was dated fall 1953. The cover, by Frears, illustrated, Lorelei of the Red Mist by Bradbury and Lee Brackett. Frears also did the interior illustrations for the story, and later commented that he was delighted by the results but felt he was "...never quite able to repeat it. A hex, of course." Interior artists for the second issue also included EMSH. The fiction included stories by Frederick Brown and Horace Gold. However, this issue received only limited distribution, and Rees decided against continuing with the magazine. Bibliographic details Tops in Science Fiction's two issues were dated spring and fall 1953, the first in pulp format, and the second a digest. There was a single volume of two numbers. The publisher was Love Romances Publishing, based in Stamford, Connecticut. The magazine was priced at 25 cents for the pulp issue, and 35 cents for the digest issue. Both issues were 128 pages long. The first issue was edited by Jack O'Sullivan, the second by Malcolm Rees. A British reprint edition appeared, with three 128 page digest editions published by Top Fiction Limited. These were released in autumn 1954, winter 1955, and summer 1956, though none of them were dated. The first two reprinted stories from the first U.S. issue, the third reprinted material from the second U.S. issue. They were each priced at one-sixth. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>